This short tutorial video shows how to use Treasure Data's JavaScript SDK. It is assumed that you have already signed up for Treasure Data. The first step is to look up your API key. Log into Treasure Console and click on the Team tab. Click on your username. Then go to the API key tab. You need to type in your password to see the API key in the clear. Please make sure that you use the write-only API keys and not the master API keys. Next, let's set up the JavaScript SDK. We will be working directly with an HTML file. But the same concept holds for the pages rendered by server-side languages, such as PHP, Python, and Ruby. Like many other client-side analytics platforms, this can be done by adding a couple of lines into the HTML head section. Now we're ready to use the SDK. As a first step, let's start tracking page views. To do that, we first instantiate the tracker object. Then we use the track page view method. This method requires one parameter as the name of the table to store the page views. Now the setup is done. Let's make sure that this is working. The website is hosted locally at port 8000, and this should have created one impression. And when I go into Treasure Console, I should see a single page view. There it is, recorded with various basic information about the visitor. In particular, the JavaScript SDK can identify anonymous users and records it in the TD client ID field. This ID works across subdomains. Next, let's try to record a click event on the button. Treasure Data JavaScript SDK has a method called track event which allows the user to record custom data. Using a little jQuery, we're going to add a listener for a button so that when the button is clicked, an event is sent to treasure data. Now let's click on the button and confirm that the click is recorded in the click table. And there it is. This concludes our tutorial. To learn more about Treasure Data's JavaScript SDK, please visit the URL on the screen.